With everything college students have to worry about between midterms, papers, and finals, it's easy to forget about common sense safety precautions. Identity theft doesn't target a specific gender or age group. Students are not immune, and many of them fall victim when their guard is down. And not only can they put themselves at risk, they can also put their parents' financial security in danger. So here to prep us with all the tools we need to protect students heading back to class is campus security and identity theft expert Robert Siciliano. Robert, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. How often do students become victims of identity theft? Well, we did a study and found that uh, those 18 to 24 are often most uh, victimized. Uh, as many as 30% uh, of identity theft victims are under the age of 30. Is that because they really aren't being as careful as older adults? Well, that certainly has something to do with it. Uh, additionally, they also have, you know, fresh, great credit, right. and uh, they're not shredding data or doing what they're supposed to do to protect themselves. They're very attractive victims to all those criminals out there. All right, so let's start with some of the tips and suggestions you have about what we should buy, first of all, to mm -hmm. protect ourselves or our students. And you say the first thing is a paper shredder. Yes, uh, shredding uh, documentation that uh, is throwaway data is very important. Uh, our study found that as many as 50% of students are not shredding personal identifying information, including uh, credit card statements, bank statements, including their parents' information as well. So that means it's going out in the trash and identity thieves are pulling it out of the trash and compromising identities. So get a cross-cut shredder. Okay, that's a very easy way to lose your information. Now, you also say invest in a lockbox. Is this a safe? Yeah, get a safe. You yeah. know, a, a Entry safe, any safe that you you know put in your dorm, and you put your laptop in there, any important paperwork, any jewelry, uh, because you know your 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 dorm isn't all that secure, so you have to have a safe these days. And then you also need to invest in some fully loaded software. Yes, uh, McAfee Total Protection is a is a great product. As a matter of fact, uh, in the green room they had uh, McAfee Total Protection today. Are these very expensive? You know, for less than uh, fifty to seventy five dollars, you know, Total Protection uh, locks down your PC, you know, protects your identity. Great idea. Now, you also say that Uniball, this is interesting, Uniball has come out with a new pen with a special kind of ink. Explain how this works. Yeah, this is the uh, Uniball gel pen, uh, the 207 gel pen. It prevents check washing. Check washing is a form of identity theft where identity thieves go into your mailbox, they pull the checks out, they wash out the pay to in the amount, and they pay themselves. Unbelievable. And so those pens just cannot be washed off. There's just exactly. no way. It permeates the check, preventing check washing. Oh, that's fantastic. And they're at uniball.com. That's where you can go to get more information about yeah. how this works. Okay, great. Now, you also say that students, now we're going to get to your tips now. You say it's important to stress to students that they need to reconcile their bank statements every month. It's easy to get lazy about this, but you just can't. Students, everyone, has to pay close attention to credit card statements and bank statements. Credit card fraud is rampant. You have to pay attention to every single charge, making sure that you authorize it and refute any unauthorized charges within a 30 to 60 day period of time. So important. Mm -hmm. And also, this is another important one for everyone, not just students, beware of what you post on the internet. Yes. Social networking sites, MySpace, Facebook, even Twitter, you put pictures of yourself doing a keg stand at a party, not a good idea. <laughs> that could get you fired, prevent you from getting employment, so be really careful what you're posting on the internet. So important. It's so important to stress to kids younger and younger because, I mean, even, we're not even talking college students, high school students, junior high school students are doing this. All right. Also, you say never share your passwords with anyone. Yeah. Our study found that as many as 10% of students are actually sharing their passwords with friends. That seems crazy. Yeah. And it's never a good idea to put your passwords on a little yellow sticky note in the side of your monitor either. <laughs> Stick it on your bulletin board, right? Yeah, bad idea. <laughs> I know. All right. Now, we have a couple of questions from some viewers we'd love for you to answer. The first one comes from Michelle of Queens, New York, and she writes in, how much information is too much to give over the internet? For instance, how how private should I keep my Facebook? Well, I never recommend um, you know where you're going and when you'll be back. If you're going on vacation, don't put that on Facebook because that's a perfect opportunity for somebody to rob your house. It's incredible because that's what so many people use it for. Hey, you know we're we're here in Mexico for a week. It's beautiful. Wish you were here. I mean, so you're really saying pull pull your your um, your experiences of the, of the whole social networking pull it down a notch. Tighten it up. Yeah. yeah and, and I don't think it's a good idea to post that your kids information online either baby pictures like you, you just have to be really careful because you never know who's watching absolutely all right and lastly Joe from West Haven Connecticut asks I always bring my old ratty guitar to school instead of my $1,300 Gibson should I feel insecure about keeping such a valuable item in my dorm room 
I would never bring a $1,300 Gibson to your yeah, dorm room. I have to agree uh, with that. <laughs> yeah, so that, that, that's a good idea that he brings the ratty guitar. Uh, your, you know, dormitories, uh, you know, it, it's a transient uh, environment. So people are in, they're out. Uh, you know, you, you, don't, you don't establish relationships long enough to build trust. And you just don't know. So I would never store anything of any value other than what fits in a safe. Such, such good advice. I mean, a lot of students want to bring so many things with them from home. But you're right. A dorm room is not your home. It's not your room. Keep the jewelry. Leave it at home. The Gibsons, the expensive stuff. Leave all of that at home. Even expensive items of clothing. Yeah, and, and our Uniball study with the Identity Theft Resource Center found that is only 40% uh, to 60% of students are actually locking their right, doors. Right. So they're not even Perfect. conscious of their personal security. Robert, thank you so much. ABC News Now. Good to know.